I've been street performing since 2012, so uh, about five years or a little bit more. It's basically putting your art out to people who hadn't seen it before. I think it's the best testing ground because when people who weren't expecting to see you, weren't paying to specifically go and see you, uh, your audience, then it really shows that you have to be really good. I've been busking for just over six months now, so it's still quite fresh. Today is my first day on Berk Street. For the Berk Street Mall, there's always been auditions that they hold to make sure that it's not just anybody who comes into the mall and busks. There's something really... I don't know. I think people that are walking past seem to just really get engaged with, I think, street performers. Now what they're saying is they want to publicly audition people to get them in. And I think that's, it's a little unfair because first of all, you never know what's happening with people's vibe that day. It's always changing. So people just not in a good mood, that's going to affect you not getting in the mall. Or if you ask all your friends and family to come down and you have a million supporters and the council don't know, you know, like you're going to get in. So it's a little bit biased in that way. The Berk Street auditions, I actually agree with it. A lot of people think that the general public is going to choose who gets in or who does not. That's not the case. The case is the street performances will be held on Berk Street, so it's the same environment that you'll actually perform, be performing on when traditionally it's just been in a building in the council. So it's going to be held the exact same. It's going to have the same panel people um, writing down what sh what they like, what they don't like, and asking questions, but it'll just be in a more public place so people can see it and see the variety of acts that are actually possibly going to be on Berg Street. When we first started, we weren't the best band, but we were allowed, we were accepted into the mall because we had something, and over time we kind of worked at the, our craft. And now, you know, like we'd probably pass a public audition, but back then we may have not. So, so it's a really good place to kind of learn and kind of grow as a musician as well and just letting people come in through a public audition it's, it doesn't seem right they're also trying to stop people who make something at home get a different permit and I agree with that completely because they take up too many spots of the normal performers like you'll see five people in a row selling spray paint to vinyls I've been busking four years and nine months the best thing is the warm feeling you get from making people happy, the surprise that they the, that they get when you say that certain things are just by donation. Busking street theatre um, encompasses a lot of different things. It's very complicated to, to just lump it into one thing. And, uh, uh, so I mean, when somebody brings their act or their work out into the street and earns donations through that, I consider that busking. Uh, rather than selling a product. Or in the case of the balloon artists, yes, they sell a product, but this is a product that's going to last an hour or so. It's not exactly, it's, it's still donation based. The rules mean that I will have to finish basking. Uh, like my heart being ripped out, knowing that I can't do something I love, that I can't allow. I can't not have people enjoy what I do anymore because it's they don't want it here anymore but it's something that brings color and it brings happiness 
I can't continue. It's not in the way that you came back to me. It's not in the way that you left.